Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sachin Kulkarni, consultant in fertility at Pristine Women's Hospital, Kolhapur. Today I am taking this opportunity to inform you about this new test regarding sperm DNA fragmentation. Does routine semen analysis guarantee us all the information about the semen? No, probably not. Otherwise, we wouldn't have so many men with normal semen analysis and moving around from clinic to clinic seeking for fertility. Semen analysis routinely does not tell about the nuclear structure of the sperm. And it is the nuclear structure as we understand which is very important because it contains the most important DNA. When you have a very integrated DNA material packed in the nucleus of the sperm, that is the one who is going to be a healthy sperm, is going to fertilize and achieve a successful fertilization and embryo and hence a successful pregnancy. Typically, whoever or the husbands who are having fragmented DNA in their sperm, they will commonly have unexplained infertility. Well, they would have moved from clinic to clinic, might have taken ample number of IUIs and multiple cycles, but this particular test is not done. This particular factor is not evaluated and they are searching for a cause of infertility. And these are the ones who typically require a higher course of treatment, like something like ICSI. Why a fragmented DNA sperm cannot have fertility in IUI cycles, but can have a successful fertility in ICSI? Because in ICSI, if you detect fragmented sperm much earlier in life, the wife is young and she has young oocytes. Because of young age, the egg has a capacity to repair the DNA damage and that's how ICSI is more successful. This DNA fragmentation test is done by a comet assay, a tunnel assay and there are some spectroscopic assays which are available here. Generally, the cost of a sperm DNA fragmentation test would be about 6,000 rupees in Kolhapur. I would like to advocate for all the infertile couples, whether they have a normal semen or having low semen, must undergo the special test for sperm DNA fragmentation because if detected early, can be managed early and a pregnancy can be reached. So the biological loss of time in time taken to achieve a pregnancy can be much lessened if this test can be done earlier. But let's talk of a couple who had the sperm DNA fragmentation positive. What do we do next? One, we improve their sperm DNA fragmentation or lessen it by giving them an antioxidant diet which is rich in colorful things, colorful vegetables, for example, carrots, red or yellow capsicum, when chilies, lemon, adrak, lasun, etc. But you can take an antioxidant prescription for a period of three months. But that may not be sufficient. So we have introduced at Pristine Women's Hospital in our IVF laboratory a new technique called MAX. It is Magnetic Activated Cell Sorter. You're going to see a small video about it, wherein after the sperm washing is done, the sperm is put in a column where the fragmented DNA sperms whose cell membranes are broken down, they are get attached to the magnetic surfaces and only the clean, neat semen, which has the best DNA material, most integrated DNA material, who are robust enough to give us the best of the pregnancies are filtered out separately. Especially in all patients of test tube baby or, or wherever we are doing cryopreservation of semen. If I cryopreserve or freeze a fragmented DNA sperm, that will have a poor outcome. But if I freeze a non-fragmented DNA sperm, a nice integrated sperm, that will have a better outcome of pregnancy. So at my hospital, we are using this technique for semen cryopreservation and all semen analysis and with this max we are able to separate out a normal integrated DNA sperm to achieve a good pregnancy rate. The systemic review published in the Journal of Human Reproduction in 2009 where Robinson et al clearly stated that if the sperm DNA fragmentation is less than 25% the pregnancy rates are much higher 
and only one third pregnancy rates are achieved if the DNA fragmentation is beyond 60 percent. So do visit our clinic and do visit our website www.pristinehospital.com for further information. Thank you.